In the nearly 50-year fight to overturn Roe v. Wade, the pro-life movement enjoyed the advantage of being able to train its fire on a singular point of focus. But with Roe's recent death in the Supreme Court, the battle has now shifted to multiple fronts. Church Militant's Christine Chrislieb analyzes what's trending in the ongoing abortion wars. We know pills by mail, and that's just a generic term, is the future of abortion. A recent report from the American Life League is confirming what boots-on-the-ground pro-life veterans like Lynn Mills are saying. Planned Parenthood is shifting its focus, dramatically increasing the number of locations that commit abortion pill abortions. While the number of physical facilities for Planned Parenthood over the past year has gone down, the number of abortions have gone up. And the reason for that is specifically pill abortions. Nationally, Planned Parenthood operates 39% of all surgical abortion facilities, which also those surgical facilities will also distribute pills but they're responsible for 82% of all abortion pill facilities in America. These do-it-yourself kits require a doctor's prescription. The Food and Drug Administration considers them safe only up to 70 days or 10 weeks after the last menstrual period. Above and beyond their most sinister effect of killing a newly conceived child, abortion pills are the portal to a host of other grave abuses. Jessica Burgess is Celeste Burgess's mother and allegedly helped her helped her daughter perform an abortion at nearly six months pregnant with a due date of July 3rd. This incident involves mail-order abortion pills administered by the mother when her 17-year-old daughter was 24 weeks pregnant, long past FDA guidelines. According to the New York Times, the women had actually buried the remains and then dug them up, drove them north of town and buried them again. Finally, they moved the remains a third time. At some point, a man who helped them told the police the women tried to burn the fetus. The remains were exhumed and showed signs of thermal injuries. Nebraska Right to Life Executive Director Sandy Danick said to expect more incidents of this kind as mail order do-it-yourself abortions are heavily promoted. She went on to say accountability should extend to providers that mail abortion pills to states that, like Nebraska, require in-person physician oversight of medication abortions. By phone, American Mail Order Pharmacy in Warren, Michigan, confirmed it is a mail order provider of the abortion pill. When Church Militant approached the business in person, a representative said she knew nothing about being a mail order pharmacy. I don't know where you get your information from. She said the business was a used car lot. This is one of the businesses in the chemical abortion supply chain, a combination used car lot and mail order pharmacy. Christine Christlieb, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. In a few weeks, Sunday, September 10th, is the National Day of Remembrance for Aborted Babies.